To make a flying machine, you'll simply need one sheet of paper. I've got a green sheet right here, and the first thing we're going to do is make a hot dog fold. So you're going to fold it in half the long way, and crease the ends right here. You can use a pencil to make your creases sharper, or you can use the edge of your fingernail. And then you're going to open it right back up. Go ahead and fold each one of the top corners down to that main center line right here, just like so, making sure that your folds are nice and sharp. Okay, So we've simply folded the top corners down like that. We're going to do that one more time. I'm going to take this edge here and bring it to the middle. and crease down my corners and I'm going to bring this edge here over to the middle just like so. Now I'm going to take this top point and I'm going to bring it to the point where this makes a V right in here just like there. And I'm going to put my top point right at the tip of this V right here. So I'm going to fold that down so it looks like this. So I've just taken that top tip and placed it right there. Okay. The next step is to fold your wings together, just like so, with all your things, all the folds on the inside. And then you're going to fold your wings down. You're going to make this edge here match this edge down here. On this uh, airplane, this is called the keel, the part where you hang on to when you throw it. So we're going to put the top edge of our wing to meet the keel right there. And we're going to go ahead and do that on the other side. And we are ready to fly, almost. Now, with paper airplanes, it's really important what the dihedral angle is. Now, dihedral is, if you were to look at this plane edge on, just like this, you notice that the wings, in this case, are flat. Just they're along the bottom of my palm right here. The edge of the wings are flat. So that's a neutral dihedral. A positive dihedral is when you flex the wings up and they make this V shape just like this. That's a positive dihedral. And that's how most airplanes fly best. Now you can try a negative dihedral, which means that if you were to look at this airplane from the nose on, that you see the wings make a down-shaped V, a V that would be facing downwards. That's called a negative dihedral. So either one you want to try, negative, positive, or neutral is fine, but that is something to keep in mind. And one other quick thing are uh, is the trim at the elevator end. Now if this is the nose section, the other end of your airplane is the elevators back here and you can take your fingers like this and you can pinch up the paper just like so or you could pinch the paper down you can make one elevator go up and the other one go up or you can make one up and one down or both down whatever combination you want to do when you pinch these up and down that's going to change dramatically how this thing flies it'll change it from a plane that goes in a loop to a plane that's more of a boomerang that goes out and then comes back to you it'll actually pitch it up more or pitch it down more all depending on what you do back here so the combination of changing the dihedral angle the amount that the wings flex as well as the amount of pinching up or pinching down that you do with the elevators here in the back is going to make or break your airplane. So if you fly this and you find it's not doing what you want, those are the two things you need to change. Your flex angle and pinching up or pinching down in the back. Alright, go give this a throw.